Boo. Welcome to another episode of Ship of War, my review of Paranormal Activity 3. Ship of War. When ship happens, I'm there. So I was fortunate enough to attend a screening for Paranormal Activity 3. Pretty awesome screening. By far one of my favorites. Not only did we get like really cool things, they gave us free popcorns and free drinks to have during the screening. Not only was the screening good, but the movie itself was good. Now, I know people are like, why are you reviewing this movie? It has no relations to what your channel is about. You're wrong, okay? I came to realize this after watching Paranormal Activity 3, and that is that this movie is truly about a triangle. A triangle between Toby and the women in his life and the men that are in his way when it comes to the women in his life. If you don't understand what I'm saying, when you watch the movie, maybe you'll kind of grasp to where I'm going with this because there is a triangle in all three movies, actually. It, well, anyways, so this movie, I have to say, was really good. It was a good movie. It goes into more what the story is about, it goes to the background why these girls, these women, had this issue with these demons slash ghosts or whatever this thing is it always follows them around and after watching this movie I have to say it, it left it open for a fourth movie to happen because there's so much more that you want to learn after watching this movie about the backstory about the girls and their family and stuff like that and why this is happening I mean you know you find out why it's happening to them but you want to know why <laughs> if that makes any sense okay my issues with this movie has to be at three issues i had with this movie my first issue with this movie was a lot of the stuff that happened in the trailer that we see in the trailer doesn't actually happen in the movie itself but it's kind of one of those things if you don't see the trailers you would never notice it and it wouldn't bother you because they're not really scenes that i guess you don't really need in the movie second thing i had an issue with was that the ending was a little anticlimactic but I believe they did it that way so they can continue on to a fourth movie. And the third thing I had an issue with is in the first, and I believe in the second movie, they made comments about something that happened in their younger life, in their household. And that didn't happen in this movie. I'm not going to mention what it is. Maybe some of you will pick it up by me just saying that. And I was kind of hoping it was going to happen, but it didn't happen, which makes me, again, believe you know, leaving it open for the fourth film to explain that event that they, you know, mentioned in the first. I know it was mentioned in the first film. I'm not, I don't remember if it was mentioned in the second movie or not. I don't remember. Okay, with that all said, there was a lot of scenes where I had my face covered during most of it. Like, I don't like those jumping scenes, like scenes I know something's going to jump out at me. So I, I, I tend to, like, cover my face because I don't like that feeling. Even though I do like that feeling, but I don't like being in that moment or whatever. So, so from what I, from what I saw, because I did cover my face a lot, I did enjoy the movie. The movie was very enjoyable. It was funny. It, it was uh, very creepy. It had really a lot of creepy scenes. Paranormal Activity, good movie. That is about a love triangle. Kind of. Sort of. There's a triangle between Toby, just remember Toby, and the women in his life and his issues with the men in these women's life. That is paranormal activity in its core. I know it is. I know it is. So that is all for this episode of Ship of War. Goodbye and until next time. So on set photos.